Hi guys, TMH here again with another Minecraft episode on the Cherry Vanilla server and yeah, today we are going to be finishing up the zombie hunt game A um, few changes I've made, I've prepared the tunnel for the zombie so we will have to get him today uh, I've also removed the water that was up here, it was firstly it was really annoying having, having the drips uh, coming down but Secondly, I, I just know we don't need it because the zombies will track either way. I mean, we don't need this water either. I've kept that in for now, but um, yeah, I mean, the zombies are going to track. All we need is an ice block for here, and we will quickly travel to the ice biome to grab some ice. But we're ready with that. I've got these spawners ready to swap for zombie spawners, and we'll test it with the five. But obviously, if need be, we can increase that. Um, we're all set up for lava. We're going to run just now and get some lava. And then that's that part set up. Thank, uh, thank goodness fire spread isn't on or this place wouldn't last very long. Oh yeah, also, also sort of did the walls. Went for jungle wood and made a couple of windows. It's nothing spectacular, but I mean, this is the part that you're focusing on either way. Um, out here... <laughs> Can I be bothered <laughs> explaining it? Yeah, let's explain it. <laughs> um, so, I had mentioned... Let me get this guy in case he gives us a surprise. I had mentioned that I probably wouldn't recreate the um, sort of tick counter that I made on the old map. The old the old one I made was a really poor design. It was, a th it was all my design, so it was really open and very spread out. I mean, had I thought about it, it might, I could have probably compacted it a lot more, but yeah, I, I didn't think I'd do it in this map, but the curiosity got the better of me, and I googled around and found this design, which is quite, quite simple. It's a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what these... I don't know what these uh, <laughs> connections are called anymore, but I, I think this is a, a double pulse creator so it, it creates a double pulse maybe <laughs> and then anyway long story short <laughs> not abusing powers um long story short it runs around here uh, i think this is an and or an, a nor gate <laughs> oh i'm such a noob at this now um anyway anyway i'll i'll, I'll slowly walk around it the the pulse starts here okay so um, it would be a button, or in this case, it's going to be a trip wire, uh, and it goes through this <laughs> this setup, <laughs> and then um, this part can just repeat over and over again with repeaters uh, and redstone into whatever gate this is. So there's a torch powering the block above, which has redstone, and on top of that leads it onto a redstone torch. Um, so. This way, naturally, the lights would be on, just the way it would be, and as a zombie passes over the trip wire, a light will go out, and then the next one will go out, the next one, and so on. And like before, I've hooked in a piston to the end, so once you get to the final life, um, before a zombie passes through, the piston would then uh, extend, blocking off the route of the zombies. Um, and you would have to reset the system, uh, and that would be it. So <laughs> I should have probably <laughs> written down the names of what the specific parts are, but I'm sure you get the idea. I can't remember the the redstone names anymore. I f that's terrible. But what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, this is a really compact design. What I will do though is that I've made a a copy of this over there, so I remember what it looked like, and. In, yeah, in the, in the near future, I'll uh, work on hollowing out the ground below the zombie hunt game, and then we'll just have uh, torches, redstone torches, running up to, to lights on the wall, um, because there's just unfortunately no space behind this hill. But yeah, that was the that was the design for the zombie hunt game, and it works really well. Uh, <laughs> glad somebody else thought of it and not me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it, and it resets as well. But let's not abuse powers. Oh yeah, if we're really quick, we could um, get a zombie villager. Let's grab. I need as many of these as I can get. Don't want to make loads of trips. 
that should be enough. So I found a lava patch somewhere over here. It's really hard when you're running, so I have to. There it is. Um, really hard when you're just running through the forest to try and find it, but this is as nice and easy. <laughs> There we go. Right, how do we get out here? So, let's head back. Luckily, it's also night time, so we might be able to get a zombie villager. Don't want to carry one all the way from over here, so... Oh, I keep, <laughs> keep accidentally flying. <laughs> I promise it's an accident. Um, yeah, we'll try and get a zombie villager over here. So, we can try and trap him. We'll need to set up the trap first, though. Oh, I hear one. I'm getting hungry as well. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, not much has been happening around spawn, just the the usual farm still a-okay. <laughs> ah, what? Ah. Who? Oh, answer this. Oh, no. <sighs> That's annoying. Creeper damage and nobody fixes it. That gets annoying after a while. I have to remind myself and go and fix that later. Okay, let's get in here. <laughs> and set up everything I need. We'll go on a hunt for a zombie. If we do that now, before we lay the lava... <laughs> um, let's... No, no. I'll, I'll run over here, and because the zombie will be slower, I should have time to place that. That's my plan anyway. Okay, let's let's do this. I didn't think it'd be night time so quickly. Okay, let's scout around and find a zombie villager. Which, now that we need one, will never appear. That is just the complete But whoa. Oh, not good. Oh <laughs> After I went on about creeper damage as well. I don't think I've got any or next to no dirt. Hmm. Let's have a quick check around here. Yeah, I've no dirt. I'll have to add that to my list of things to do. Fix spawn and fix this hole up here. It's all just creepers. Why 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 are there so many creepers? <laughs> oh dear. I tell you what, I will have a Look around for a while and see if I can find any zombie villagers and once I find one and we are nearing the zombie hunt game I will yeah be right back. Actually I uh, <laughs> totally forgot I don't have a golden apple or potions. <laughs> so even if I found one I'd be uh, pretty screwed. I know though one of our players sells it so um, where is it though? Swiftness. She definitely said it was for sale. Ah, oh. <laughs> now I've got three swiftness. <laughs> oh, maybe I will have to. Maybe I will have to brew this one. I'm sure she. Da 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 da. These are all books. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, yay! Here we go. This is a, a gift for you. <laughs> That's what we're after. Okay, we have the potions. And, yeah. Golden apple. Oh! Why? And I'm not using... I'm not going to spend... Oh, it's not even... Oh! Oh, it's packed ice. Oh, so ill-prepared. So, we need to get an apple. I've got loads of gold either way, but... to get an apple now. <laughs> I will get the apple, <laughs> get everything set up, and then, whenever we are ready with a zombie, I will be right back.
you know, I've been running around <laughs> for like ten minutes, um, looking for zombies when I was carrying five zombie spawners on me. What an idiot! Um, kind of finished the path here as well, um, but. Another creeper came out of nowhere and blew it up, so... Oh, I cannot believe I've been walking around with five zombie spawners <laughs> looking for a zombie. This is going to be so much easier. Plus it's an extra bit of XP. Oh, why? Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> Just trying to eat. <laughs> oh, this is not my night. This is not my night at all. Rain doesn't affect it, does it? No. Ugh, so much zombie flesh. Oh, two more. Okay, need to... Oh. Weird. Ah, <laughs> must be uh, some kind of glitch um, when I place that there. I'll uh, I'll just get another couple and test that out. Okay, we are on full zombie production mode now. <laughs> this is such a cheaty way to get a zombie villager. <laughs> I might not even spawn, but I should, I mean, it, this is how unfamiliar I am. I'm still complaining as to how noobish I am, but you, you kind of take a lot of it back on pretty easily, I guess. Um, uh, just waiting for that zombie now. Whoa! <laughs> Sweet iron. Don't need that. Whoa. Oh, we're in, we're in luck. Brilliant. Okay. Let's get this guy through here. Oh, oh, where's the door? <laughs> I just want one. Okay, that'll do. That'll have to do. The rest can just follow me. This one, it. Close that door. Oh, no! I hit the, I hit the wrong one! <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't die because of the armor. Yeah. Okay, I better watch out because I have thorns on this uh, armor, so if I keep letting him hit me. Um, he'll okay, we're there. We are there. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. That uh, took a lot longer than it should have, but we have a zombie. Uh, let's just ch start changing him right now. Yes! <laughs> We're so close to the end now. So close. Bet you are raging right now. I also brought a uh, thing I should need to block up that hole. Uh, yeah, so. Let's just replace this bit by bit here. Quite like that back. Oh, never thought of that. <laughs> Let's get a bit of glass out there as well. Uh, yep, a bit of glass. So much easier when you're not worrying about having to fill that space with a zombie. Oh, it's just, just too far away. Hit and go. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way of knowing how much uh, health he had left, but that was a risk I was willing to take. Okay, so zombie is safe. Let's close that up. And all of this. Uh, okay. Ah. I just don't need to leave this area, at least until he's a villager, um, then, yeah, 
that's pretty much it. I don't need to name him because villagers don't despawn. You know what, you keep that piston. Um, but we're really close now, we are really close to getting this uh, finished. What I'll quickly do is get these back. I don't know what happened to the other um, spawners. There's three. I could pretty much switch this on right now, um, but I just want to lay the lava and yeah, that's pretty much it after that. Obviously we just need to wait until this guy actually becomes a villager. I'm going to change that to wool. Um, but yeah, let's place the lava and call the bottom part done as well. <laughs> so much crap in this inventory. I need to do a clear out. Uh, get rid of the good stuff so if worst case scenario I die, at least don't need to go far. So probably Yeah. I can probably just drop these guys down here and fill that with wood. And I'll just have one set of lava in here. tense. <laughs> I need to, it's like, you know, when you're uh, washing the floor in a room, or uh, with like a mop, you need to do it towards the door, so the last thing you do is place the last thing and get out. Um, so, how many do I have here? Seven. That's, actually, that's probably not enough. I would probably need one more. Uh, to make it even. And probably eventually I'll uh, get enough to, to try and make this solid lava just to help reduce lag a little bit. Uh, okay. Actually, maybe, maybe that f would flow enough. Yeah, that should flow enough actually. So, <laughs> this is uh, getting to the scary part now. I need to go in. <laughs> oh, no food either. Brilliant. There we go. It should be okay. Ah, that's not spreading as far as I would have liked. So I'm going to stick with the original plan and kind of double them up. Okay. <laughs> How many was that? Three or so? Oh, this is getting this is getting stupid to stupid levels now. Okay, that one there. Oh, that's it. That's oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, okay. If I don't get the bottom one, I'm not bothered about that. Let's also. Break that one. Clear up some space here. Right. <laughs> Whoa, okay. We are relatively safe now. Uh, we've got lava in there. We have a villager. Brilliant. So we're so close now. Uh, all I need to do is get into. <laughs> the most... There we go. I did not want to risk at all hurting myself there. Um, okay, I think we could pretty much just swap these straight out. And... Oh no, we need to go to the ice biome first. Let's just go there and grab some ice. <laughs> Snowing. Ooh. Good if there was a lava pool here and could top up the buckets. But yeah, I'll probably do all that off camera. Um, did I bring the right one? I did. That would have been silly. Okay. Let's get this here and melting. So these will, these guys will pretty much start spawning right away. Um, five is a lot. That's a lot of spawners. The only reason we did so many in the other one was it was a quite a high High paced game, but you know, uh, ah, 
Uh, okay, four and five. Let's just get that one in. Okay, they're tracking. They should just track the villager before me. Ah, ah. <laughs> this is a stupid place to be. Utter stupid. Ah, this is not going to end well at all. I have no food. Yeah, I do. Let him just hit me. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Just waiting for this one to melt. Okay, they're definitely tracking the villager though, which is great. Um, and once this becomes water, guys like this. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit block about it. <laughs> ah! Where were you ten minutes ago when I was looking? Uh, oh my goodness, this is chaotic. Right. Ah! Oh, and updated! <laughs> oh. Right. Round two. Let's just. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do this, and then you can all st stay away from me. There we go. Go and track the villager. Go and, go and track him. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, once that one melts, any uh, rogue zombies who sort of track him the wrong way, they'll just drown in there. Unfortunately, little guys like that won't drown um, if they ever get caught up on that. Um, I mean, I could put in a big system, but ultimately they'll all despawn and probably on a, a semi-regular basis I'll, I'll double check that it's not clogged up. Um, we don't have the issue anymore of like the, uh, the chicken uh, jockeys spawning and then <laughs> uh, random chickens being caught up in mob farms, so stuff like that we don't need to worry about so much. Um, but yeah, that's the only drawback is we'll get little guys occasionally. Okay, this is my last time in here. All these zombies are going to get caught in there because the ladders are... <laughs> oh. Watch out here. I am end well here. There you go. So that's what's going to happen. They'll get caught up in there. Uh, let's just get up to safety here. Um, they'll get caught up in here and then just over time they'll drown. Uh, so if there is a clog up in the system, that should avoid any lag. Um, sort of long term. This was a, a ridiculous and stupid idea. <laughs> But uh, at least it's working, at least they're drowning and not clogging up the system, which is what we wanted here. Um, but realistically, I am just going to get hurt so badly. Just power through. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> cannot see where I'm going. I think that's us. Yes! Okay. Where did those guys come from? Uh, worrying. Hopefully they're not spawning in the wrong place. Okay, I need to really watch out what's happening here. <laughs> it's working! It's working, I'm gonna say that. Oh, goodness. Right, let's clear up here. Let's clear up before we look at it. But there we go, that is... Well, there was that big build-up actually. We'll wait until the build-up goes, but... Clearly they're getting pushed through, they're dying down there, which is good. And you can hear them cooking, cooking away. And it's actually working pretty well. I, uh, <laughs> in the, the usual, uh, usual progression of not having prepared at all, I don't have my bow and arrow, but, um, yeah, that's, that's actually working really well, even with just five spawners, which is good. Um, like I said, over time, if um, it's it's kind of slow, yeah, and we will get um, we will get more spawners up there. But five for the for the moment is, is pretty pretty good actually. <laughs> it's really good to see the old game back again. Um, but I tell you what, I will clean all this up. I'll probably sort out all this mess um, and relay the track and stuff. And I'll be back just, and we'll finish this episode. Unfortunately, nobody's on, so <laughs> we'll finish this episode with uh, me <laughs> shitting them. Um, 
But I'm sure as soon as more people come on and they know this is up and running, I should be able to get a few people. But, um, yeah, let me be right back and I'll tidy up all these chests and stuff. Well, guys, that is it. Everything's finished and I'll probably make <laughs> a more dramatic entrance at some point. Um, or maybe at least loop it into that gate. But, uh, yeah. Zombie Hunt 2.0 is complete. Um, actually, going a, lo a lot better than I uh, expected. It's, it's it's actually really fast. I don't know how we managed with 20 spawners on the uh, the original game, because five at the moment, let me tell you, is is pretty uh, pretty adequate. Um, but yeah, I got some snowballs. Also got the little bow and arrow. First time using this bow since I brought it over. And well worth it. Still got the skills. <laughs> yeah, works like a treat. It's, it's <laughs> just as addictively fun as I remembered from last time. Oh, hold up there. Um, it's pretty cool you can do it with snowballs. What I might do is just uh, do a couple of chests of snowballs as well as uh, arrows. Just so we've got like something free because you can pretty easily make a snow generator and fire it out that way. Oh, not the fast one. <laughs> um, yeah, one last other uh, thing to mention uh, before I head off. Uh, two, two actually. Um, as well as the electronic. Oh man, I need to, <laughs> I need to turn it down. Um, yeah, as well as the electronic uh, displays that will run across the back wall here, um, I've been thinking, well actually, I've not been thinking, I had a, a brainstorm last night uh, when I was on night shift actually, um, with one of the guys from work. Uh, he was describing a game he had made uh, not dissimilar to this, um, and it kind of got me thinking about a, a second version of, uh, of Zombie Hunt that would be Chicken Hunt. So, um, this will take a bit more planning, but what I would do is have a row of dispensers along the top, up, up there, um, a couple of chicken farms up top, and then the dispensers would fire out the eggs, and chickens would randomly fall down at a pretty slow rate. Um, in fact, let me just grab some eggs really quick. Yeah, so, the dispensers would be up top, and chickens uh, chickens when they uh, hatch and they fall they don't um, oh my goodness no chickens apart from the one yeah they fall quite slowly and um, they, they kind of flap their wings down so how cool would it be to to switch between like the zombie game and a chicken game from up top so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that um, and probably as a special episode at some point we'll have the yeah we'll have the chicken chicken dropper and then the electronic back panelling along the back. Um, so yeah, thanks to that guy, you know who you are, uh, for for giving me that idea. I think that would be that would be really cool uh, once I get it all set up. Uh, and the second thing is that this is uh, this is my 49th episode this episode, um, which means if my maths isn't terribly wrong, uh, the next episode is going to be uh, episode 50. Which, uh, for like anybody else on YouTube, is probably like nothing. But that's actually a, a pretty big achievement for uh, for little old TMH, at least. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a pretty proud achievement to be honest. So I think I'm gonna do some kind of special episode. I don't know what yet. Um, I've got a few ideas, but yeah, I think it would be pretty cool to do something a little out of the ordinary. Um, and, and maybe, I don't know, recap or, or look back at things. I mean, uh, there's, I've got tour videos from every server that I've had, so I don't think it'll be like a tour video, more a kind of nostalgic uh, trip through time or, or something. I, I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> luckily, because I've not got a really strict recording regime, uh, unlike like Misfit and, uh, and Reaper, Oh, well, maybe not Reaper, but unlike Misfit, um, I don't need to think about it like right away and get on it. So I'm going to think about it for a little while. So probably the next video, episode 50, might be a little bit slow coming out. But 
there's there's method in that in uh, in that it's yeah it's a pretty big milestone for me, um, and I think if if I've if my memory's right, I think that would be the longest series uh, on the the channel up till now at least. Um, I think the other one was uh, Dead Space with uh, Reaper and Misfit. Um, I think that got into the very late forties, uh, but don't think it hit fifty. If I'm wrong, uh, uh, if I'm wrong, I'll well, I'll just delete this footage and never look like an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that this would be the longest series, so I'm really, I'm really pretty proud of that. And I suppose I'll go into that more um, over the over the episode 50 and kind of recap it. But either way, I will head off on that with a very successful zombie hunt game in operation, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. That is something I did not know that the zombies can't forcibly push chicken jockeys. <laughs> just, <laughs> just sort of bounce straight off. It's so weird. I mean, the zombies usually just push each other through, so... Maybe I will have to... I mean, that's a really rare circumstance, having two, let alone... Or one, let alone two, but... Not even I influence them. Not even I can influence them. Hmm. Oh well.